Today, we are going to review the essential steps for the preparation and application of the wireless 3886 multi-gas module for the 3880 MRI patient monitor system. We will focus on proper configuration of the monitor, configuring the monitor to the proper agent's wireless channel, connecting the sample lines, configuring the system back to CO2 settings for the patient transport, and finally, reassigning the multi-gas module wireless channel. Prior to attempting to monitor patient respiration, anesthetic agents, and MAC readings, ensure that all 3880 system components are sufficiently charged. All components are communicating on a compatible wireless channel. Ensure the multi-gas module being used has been assigned to a unique wireless channel and is plugged into an AC power outlet. Please review the power, charging, and wireless connectivity video if additional preparation information is required. Gases and minimum alveolar concentration, or MAC readings, will be displayed in the lower left corner of the patient monitor's display. Here the user will see the MAC readings, the oxygen readings, the nitrous oxide readings, and up to two simultaneous anesthetic gases. The bottom set of numbers listed are the inspired readings, and the top set of numbers are for the expired readings. Step 1. Connecting the 3886 multi-gas module to the 3880 patient monitor. Before the user can properly monitor patient respiration, anesthetic agents, and MAC readings with the 3886 multi-gas module, the user must first ensure the 1887 accessory antenna is connected on the reverse side of the 3880 monitor. The user will press the settings button, press the parameter setup button, and ensure agents and MAC are turned on. The user will then press the back button twice to return to the monitor's screen. The user will then turn on the multi-gas module. To do this, flip the switch on the reverse side so the top half is flushed with the box. Step 2. Connecting the multi-gas module to the proper agent's channel. The next step in proper setup is to connect the multi-gas module to the 3880 using correct wireless channel called agent's channel in the menu. The multi-gas module wireless channels are unique and are independent from all other wireless channels used with the 3880 patient monitoring system. The multi-gas unit uses wireless channels A through H, where each letter is a unique and independent channel, which is compatible with the 3880 monitoring system's wireless channels 1 through 8. To connect the 3886 to the 3880, the user will click the CO2 box on the 3880 monitor screen. Next, click the button next to Agent's channel and select the desired channel. Once connected, the signal indicator light on the multi-gas module will illuminate to confirm connection. The multi-gas module is ready to have the Nomaline connected. Step 3. Connecting the Nomaline. Once the multi-gas module has been connected to the 3880 monitor, the user will then connect the Nomaline and sample line to the multi-gas module. To do this, the user will gently grip the filter end of the Nomaline and insert into the Nomaline port on the face of the multi-gas module. Once inserted, the LED light in the port will illuminate. The Nomaline port has five different color-coded illuminating indicators. A steady green light indicates the Nomaline and multi-gas module is ready for use. A flashing green light indicates the multi-gas module is performing the zero function, which the system will automatically perform. A steady blue light indicates anesthetic agents are being detected. A steady red light indicates there is an error with the multi-gas module, while a red flashing light indicates an error in the Nomaline. Once the Nomaline is connected and the multi-gas module has a green and steady light, the user will connect the sample line to the Nomaline by securing the male and female connectors. The user will apply a sample line to a cannula or airway adapter by rotating the male and female connectors to the right prior to applying to the patient. Step 4. Switching back to CO2 for patient transport. Once the patient's MRI exam is complete, the user will then prep the patient for intrahospital transport to recovery or another department. The user will then need to manually change the respiration source from the multi-gas module to the monitor's built-in CO2 feature. First, the disc filter will need to be properly inserted as shown in the end title CO2 video. The user will attach the disc filter by inserting the male connector to the female port and rotating clockwise one half turn until it stops. The user will then disconnect the sample line from the NAMA line and connect it directly to the disc filter. Finally, the user will press the settings button, press the parameter setup button, and change agents from on to off. The user will then press the back button twice to return to the monitor's screen. The user will then turn off the gas unit by flipping the switch on the reverse side so the bottom half of the switch is flush with the bottom of the box. The patient is ready for recovery and the multi-gas module is ready for its next patient. Step 5. 
reassigning the multi-gas module's wireless channel. Some situations require the use of multiple 3886 multi-gas modules. It is important that each 3886 multi-gas module has been assigned its own unique wireless channel. All multi-gas units ship set to channel A from iRadiment. To change the channel, the user will first turn on the desired 3886 that needs to be changed and ensure that all other units are powered off to avoid confusion. Next, press the Settings button, click the Service Mode menu button, and enter the password provided to you by your facility's biomed department and press the Enter button. The user will then click the Agent's Maintenance menu. The user must ensure the 3880 is communicating with the appropriate 3886. If the user needs to communicate to a different module, click the channel button on the bottom right and a drop-down menu will appear. Select the channel that is in white text to communicate with the multi-gas module that needs to be changed. The user will then click the Reassign Channel button. A drop-down menu showing available channels will display, and the user will select the available channel for the 3886. Confirm the channel by repeating Step 2 from this video. As a best practice, it is recommended that place a physical identifier on the 3886 agent box so that other users know the reassigned channel. For more information, visit www.iratamed.com. For technical support, please call 407-677-8022.